this is how to remove links from most screw style watch bracelets. So first thing you want to do is put your watch on and see about you know how much you think you may need to take out take out. Now see this is pretty pretty big right here, a lot of room. A lot of it depends upon the wearer's personal preference, you know, how loose or how tight do you want a watch to be. So the first thing we'll do is obviously take the watch off and then we're going to go to the six o'clock position obviously where the six is so the bracelet below the six o'clock look at the side of the bracelet look for screws on this particular piece there aren't screws on this side but on the other side let's see there's a screw there there's one there yep so this right here is the one we're going to start with this link. One link on the on the six o'clock side of the bracelet. This little tool I've got right here is handy if you've you know if you've got um, if you've got one or want to purchase one, you can expand this video's description and click the link there. Just makes it a little bit easier to uh, to hold everything while you're doing this. So let's see. Put that in there gently. Actually, that's kind of snug. We're going to go to this way right here. Then you want to get a screwdriver. And you can find these linked within this video's description depending upon your watch. You know, again, if it uses screws, there may be different sizes. So gently touch. Okay, that's too big, so I'm going to go a size down. probably going to be this size right here. You don't want to scratch your bracelet while you're doing this. So what you may want to do is put some tape across the other the other links, but just, you know, have good lighting and be very careful here. You want to keep enough pressure down on it so it doesn't fall out of the screw head. And just keep unscrewing. And see now it lifts out. So there's the, in this case, the screw style bracelet. So there it is. So be very careful with that. You don't want to lose it. Now what you want to do is pull out. You can see now. We've detached this. And there will also be another screw right here. So we're going to take that screw out. Something I like to do is kind of put my fingers around it to better prevent this from slipping and possibly scratching my bracelet links. Especially if you're doing this for a customer, you know, you don't wanna you don't want to risk scratching up their piece in any way. It's a pes pesky little thing to grab. There we go. So this one, you don't want to lose these. So see, now the link comes out. So there's one link. And we're going to put this aside. You never want to put this somewhere where it could fall off on the floor. Or whatever. So now, attach your, uh, you know, reposition this. 
so that it's over that. So we, you know, at this point we've removed one link. Now with all of that properly aligned, you know, identify your the part that has a screw hole, which is in my hand facing me, and then gently rest that there. And then that'll start. So now it's in the it started through the end of the bracelet there. So now that I've finger tightened it, or finger dropped it, I guess you should say, you want to gently screw. And again, you know, make sure that that's made contact with the other side. <laughs> so you don't want to, you don't want to strip these things, man. So it has, so we're going to go very carefully. Screw it slowly. You don't want it to get it too tight. I'll make sure it's in there and then what I like to do is just kind of visually inspect the link that I just screwed in there and just kind of look at the you know how flush it is so in comparison to the other link that was factory installed it uh, it is uh, it visually appears to be the same so this is with one link out at the six o'clock position you know, so this may be, if you want it a little bit looser, this may be fine. For me, it's a little bit much. I don't, well, it's better to be too loose than too tight. But what you want to do is, uh, you know, honestly, I would just, I would take it and walk around a little bit with it. But before I went anywhere, I would get these links or the link rather in this case we've done one link and we've got one extra screw let's take this and put this somewhere safe we we want this to be in a in a little baggie or something because ultimately you're going to want to put this back in your watch box and i would put them all in a bag together and then that way you've got the the factory links all together you know should you ever ever trade or uh or sell your watch you've got all the links always want to keep the links and the manufacturer screws so we're going to walk around and see how this feels on the wrist and just after a quick walk i can tell you that it's you can see my submariner is a little bit I want this to wear like my Samariner does, so it's a little bit less loose. So I get two fingers in there. I, my personal preference is just one finger. So I'm going to do one more link. So the first link we did from 6 o'clock, this link we're going to do from the 12 o'clock position. Because you, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to take them all out of the same side because you're going to, you're going to make your, uh, your watch not fit properly. So again, we can see on this one, we can see on the 12 o'clock position, which, duh, is at the top where the 12 is, there's a screw there and a screw there. So we're going to go into the 12 o'clock position, you know, being very careful. We're going to do the same type procedure here. Take this link out. Let's see. And that begs the question, do we want to get one more close, closer to the bracelet or closer to the... You see, this one down here is removable. That one's removable. I guess, yeah, let's start with one of these smaller links towards the bottom. But again, we are at the 12 o'clock position.
Again, I'm keeping my fingers tight around it so that if, if it should slip, hopefully I won't scratch anything. And I'm applying, applying enough pressure so it stayed in the... Okay, so there we go. There's the screw. Detach that. This is the link that I'll take out. So I've got another screw I've got to remove. And again, I don't even want to scratch the screw head, so... I've been very careful here. Okay, again, we're going to take this screw and this link and set it aside somewhere safe for my arm or somebody coming through here won't bump it and reattach this oops looking at the side that has the screw on it which is facing me Drop that in there just to get it lined up before I start screwing it. These little things help a lot. If you don't have one of these, expand this video's description and then click the link there. You can find where to order them online. Again, get it tight enough to where it's where it's in there securely, but not overly tightened. Visually inspect, make sure everything looks like it's in agreement. And then try your watch back on. Perfect. That's the absolute perfect fit for me. See, I've still got, for my personal taste, I've still got enough room to stick my finger under there. I wear below the wrist bone, so this is exactly where I want it to be. I've got, uh, I don't know, just that, that's how I want it. So that is how to, uh, how to resize a watch bracelet. And again, this one had screw type. You know, you'll run into some that have pins. That's a different animal. Similar process, though. But just remember, do your 6 o'clock position first. You know, take a link out of your 6 o'clock position. You know, you may want to start with the links closest to the clasp. Um, try it on after that, it's, you know, walk around with it, see if it's, you know, if you're kind of on the fence, hey, could it be, could it be a little bit uh, tighter or is this acceptable? You know, walk around with it enough to, to get a feel for it. If you've worn watches in the past, you'll probably be familiar with what you want to watch on your wrist to feel like. So it probably won't take you too long to come to that conclusion. But again, every, every wrist watch is different, different case sizes. Um, different bracelet uh, widths, all kinds of factors come into play. So make sure it's comfortable. If it's if it's still too loose, do what I did. Take your next one from the 12 o'clock position. And I mean, that's, it's that easy, man. I mean, it's nothing too difficult. So hope this video provided value. Again, always make sure you've got good lighting. These links and pins that you remove immediately put these in like a zip type bag or something where you can stick them in your uh, in your in your watch box the, the best thing to do and then that way you know keep them in the box of the corresponding watch that way if you ever sell or trade you know you've got uh, you've got the original links the original screws and you know if you get say you get really fat man you know your wrist gets really fat you've got uh, the additional links because this is one of the hardest things in the watch, in the wristwatch community, one of the most difficult things to find are the original links and the original screws. And a lot of people that are less than uh, less than on the up and up 
will pinch the links, meaning that if they resize a, a watch for somebody they could tell, you know, buying their first watch and they don't really know much about it, if they, if they lack uh, ethics, uh, often what they'll do is take these links. So that's another important point. If you ever buy a watch, you know, and you get it, you get it sized in the authorized dealer or whatever, make sure to ask, well, what I would do is I would, I would like to see, you know, I would try the watch on first, see how many links it's got and go as far as maybe take a camera phone photo or, sup or something of it on your wrist. And then that way, when you get the links removed, if they do it in the back room or whatever, you'll be able to count the links and make sure that you got, you know, all of the links, you know, not, not saying you're dealing with shady people, but you know, I, I'm, I'm one of these people. I don't trust anyone. And that's just to be, uh, to be safe, man. I mean, you, you think you can, but there's, there's few people in this world, unfortunately, that can be trusted. So again, this is how I resize a watch bracelet with screws. If you're unsure about it, you know, take it to, take it to your authorized dealer, take it to a watchmaker. Um, but as you can tell there, if you've got steady hands, you're in a clean, well-lit environment without distractions, it doesn't have to be that difficult of a process. So thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And y'all have a good day. And again, expand this video's description and click the link there and you can find these tools like I used. Super affordable. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever i post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day